Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So it seems the memo has been passed around to all of the CO Network blue tick alternative media people, a memo to tell them all to say the same thing that the Kate Middleton video from yesterday or Friday is AI, you know, to say it's not real. Look at them all. Look at all these accounts all saying the same thing at the same time, like a clockwork online army. This is what you get now on Twitter when you type in uh, Kate Middleton into the search. This is what the algorithm is pushing to the top. The algorithm of the beast. So this is actually the mainstream. This isn't the alternative. This is now the mainstream on social media. And why do people care about this person? Whether they are missing, ill, uh, fake footage, why do people care? Why is there such great interest in this person, a person they have never met and they don't know and never will? Well, it's because they have been told to be interested by the false prophet. They are slaves to whatever the false prophet decides to make headline news today, tomorrow and in the future. So do you see how the false prophet works here? Do you see how the false prophet has the majority of the earth by the short and curlies. It has them by the short and curlies because it has their attention. They see this stuff coming out of their black mirror screens. They see this as the word. This is where they go to find out stuff. This is their first stop to find out information. They go to the false prophet and not to the Bible. This is why it says that the second beast of Revelation, the false prophet, causes the inhabitants of the earth to worship the beast and to follow the beast. That's why it talks about the false prophet and the image of the beast and how it will be placed in the sights of men and that that image speaks. Yeah, that's all of this. And that's why so many cannot imagine life without the Internet and their smartphones. It's got them hooked. It has them in the palm of their hands. In literally. I mean, if you don't understand what I'm getting at, look at my recent previous videos where I explained that the false prophet in the book of Revelation at the end times and it being the internet and the media. Yes, the false prophet is the internet and the media and that is grooming the inhabitants of the earth to follow the beast and to rise up and destroy Babylon, which is the system of the world today, which in turn would bring in a new system, which will be the beast system, as stated in scripture. Look, let me try and keep this as simple as possible, right? When the corrupted, blue tick, alternative media collectively encourage you to analyze images and video that is put out by the false prophet internet media, such as this Kate Middleton announcement, you should be able to see that they are collectively leading that audience, an audience demographic, that are rightfully skeptical and maybe a little bit more savvy than others, they are leading that specific audience to focus even deeper, even deeper into the darkness whilst leading them away from the light. Yeah, that's their job. You're not getting an alternative. They're just making an audience that are distrustful of the false prophet media in the first place. They're getting them to focus even more so on the mainstream narrative. It's just in a different way. The subject's still the same, isn't it? That's not an alternative. That's the same thing. I mean, if you consider yourself a truther or someone who doesn't buy into the mainstream narrative, well, when you follow these people, what are they doing? They're just directing you straight back to the same mainstream narrative. It's just from a different angle. An angle that is suspicious, that is saying, oh, they're lying to us. But your focus still is entirely on the exact same output of the false prophet. It's never leading you away from it. I mean, think about it. If you're sitting there and you're analyzing video footage and looking at close-ups of some woman you don't even know sitting on a bench, you're just as much a slave to the feed being put out by the beast. You're just as much a slave to the same content as anyone else. And you're still just following their breadcrumbs that lead to the same content, which revolve around the same old crap, which is completely, completely irrelevant to you. If you're analyzing this video 
and getting involved in online discussions and saying this is fake, etc., and think for some reason this is important in any way, it only highlights how much you are spellbound by the false profit media. How whenever they put out some breaking news of whatever it is, you will sing and dance and react immediately online, like a Pavlovian dog. When you do this, you're only showing how easily you're manipulated and controlled and provoked by their output. And these blue tick accounts are causing, causing their audiences to focus on this story even more so than what you might call a normie. You know, there's one thing, right, when talking or questioning footage, say from a war, right, that is used for propaganda, or actors pretending to be regular members of the public in news footage. And you can show this and how this is very possible. There's a reason to point that out. But really though now, that time has come and gone because it's, it's become obvious now. It's become obvious that you cannot trust the media. You cannot trust the false profit, news, media, internet. So why on earth are you still listening or engaging with it at all in any serious way? There is no alternative media either. It's all the same. I mean, the only way you can stick it to the man, or should I say stick it to the beast, is to not watch it at all. I mean, if you had a friend who was a compulsive liar, who was consistently deceptive, deliberately deceptive, who constantly told you things in order to cause conflicts within your community, within your friends, within your family, neighbors, who you knew was doing this deliberately, would you still have anything to do with them? Would you still listen to what they had to say over and over and keep on questioning everything they said, even though you know or you can prove that they lied about loads and loads of stuff in the past? No, of course you wouldn't. You'd just dump them. You would have nothing more to do with them. Unless, of course, they had brainwashed you into not seeing their constant lies. Are all these people brainwashed? How many times are you going to say, Oh, I think, I think this could be fake. I think they could be lying to us. Really? Have you just worked that one out? I mean, and this particular subject is of zero importance. The truth is, this story is completely irrelevant to you. And someone, oh, all right, someone's going to say, oh, but they're planning on putting out a cancer jib jab. That is all part of that plan. I mean, if that ever transpired, where will you hear it from? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're going to hear it from the false profit media internet that you keep listening to. I mean, if you don't listen, you won't know and you won't care. And then your energy and focus will not be misdirected or wasted on these things. As stated, engaging with the false prophet will chip away at your spirit, making you desolate of the Holy Spirit. All of these charades are about binding you to their stories, about keeping your attention on tap so they can lead you around like a dog on a lead. Proverbs 25, 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Yeah, so like a city that is broken down and has no walls, leaving it unprotected, is a man who has no self-control over his spirit and therefore sets himself up for trouble. So the false prophet, and that includes the mainstream and the alternative very, very clearly, they don't care whether or not you believe in whatever the story is. They don't care. They only care that you're fixated upon it. They only care that you're engaged with their output, their stories, their book. The false prophet internet media in all of its guises wants you to believe. It is the sole supplier of all information. It wants to be your first stop for any question where you go to get important advice and information about a particular subject. That's what the false prophet wants you to believe. But that is not what it is because it is the counterfeit word. It is a bootleg. It's a knockoff version of the word of God, the book of the Lord, the Bible. And it is in there where all the answers lie. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you later.
Take care to not be deceived 